What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. There are not often causes for celebration in the political landscape of 2024, so you should take them when you get them. Here is a cause for celebration. The entire Republican Party is not total soy boy beta cuck Unix. In fact, there are some members of Congress that still have balls. You are looking at one on your screen right now. This man's name is Troy Nels. Troy Nels is a member of Congress from Texas, and he wore a never surrender Donald Trump t-shirt to the House floor last night for Joe Biden's State of the Union. Totally and completely based, totally and completely bad. What a king. This guy, I don't know if he was wearing a pair of golden Trump shoes, but he looked like this during Joe Biden's State of the Union. Presumably, Joe Biden, even though there was a lot of squinting and screaming last night, saw this Donald Trump mugshot in the back of the House. So, yeah, there are still good things happening in Congress. And one of those good things is Marjorie Taylor Greene. Marjorie Taylor Greene effectively was able to troll Joe Biden yesterday into saying Lake and Riley's name, the murdered Georgia nursing student who was killed by a criminal alien uh, brutally in broad daylight uh, in a sanctuary city. And she was able to humiliate Joe Biden before his own party by getting him to use naughty words. A masterclass in political trolling, ladies and gentlemen. We will give you a step-by-step -step of how it all happened. First off, before the State of the Union, Marjorie Taylor Greene told us what she was about to do. Well, if he's a liar, he should be called out. Um, that's important to do, and, and people really care about that. So you might call him out tonight on the floor of the House. I, I have no idea what he's going to say, and I would argue that Joe Biden has no idea what he's saying, too. So they're probably working up a good drug cocktail mix over there at the White House. Uh, so we'll see how he how he talks tonight, um, and, and then I'll decide then. What a total legend. Here's Marjorie Taylor Greene inside of the State of the Union, calling out Joe Biden quite literally to his face, leading to headlines like this one. Biden calls murdered jogger Lincoln Riley President 81 holds up pin given by Marjorie Taylor Greene and says Georgia student was killed by an illegal, gets her name wrong. Ooh, baby. The viral moment of the night. Marjorie Taylor Greene effectively deploying absolute savagery against Joe Biden to his face. So here's to his face, Marjorie Taylor Greene handing Joe Biden a Lake and Riley pin. <laughs> I don't know how to say the name. Lake and Riley. <laughs> Say your name, Mr. President. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Powell. So you can see Marjorie Taylor Greene there and here in the C-SPAN feed uh, handing Joe Biden the pin. There's Marjorie right back there. Uh, Joe Biden sort of like yammering and stammering and mumbling on and talking with various people. And there is the moment, ladies and gentlemen. This is the moment. Say her name, Lake and Riley. Little did we know that Joe Biden would literally be forced to say her name by Marjorie Taylor Greene. Here is that moment that is leading to headlines around the world. Oh, my predecessor called members of Congress in the Senate to demand they block the bill. He feels political win. He viewed it as a, be a political win for me and a political loser for him. It's not about him. It's not about me. I'd be a winner. Not really. I. <laughs> so this is Marjorie Taylor Greene saying Lake and Riley. So I'm going to break this clip down. First off, Democrats boo the name of the murdered girl who was murdered because of their policies. Lake and Riley was murdered directly by a person who should have never been in, allowed in this country, who was released multiple times by Democrat get out of jail free policies for criminal aliens and should have never been allowed to murder this young girl. She had her full life ahead of her, and now she's gone because of Democrat policies directly. Now, here's where things go absolutely bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Joe Biden reaches down for the pin and goes in. Lincoln, Lincoln Riley. So that's not her name. Her name's Lincoln Riley, okay? An innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands of people being killed by legals? To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you, having lost children myself. I understand. But look, if we change the dynamic at the border, people pay people, people pay these smugglers 8,000 bucks to get across the border because they know if they get by, if they get by and let into the country, it's six to eight years before they have a hearing. And it's worth the, taking the chance of the 8,000. But, 
But if it's only six months, six weeks, the idea is it's highly unlikely that people will pay that money and come all that way, knowing that they'll be able to be kicked out. So quickly. two really important things here. You got the enti- never once did the entire Congress stand up and applaud for Joe Biden. Typically, presidents put in um, verbiage that unites the Congress, at least tries to give unifying speeches. Joe Biden did none of that. But Joe Biden did unite everyone against him in this moment because the mask suddenly slipped. With the hard drugs wearing off a fast, Joe Biden truly shocking moment of honesty and lucidity. After MTG screams Lake and Riley's name, Biden goes off prompter, rattled, and admits thousands of Americans are being killed by illegals. One, you're not allowed to say illegals. That has been banned from the lexicon by the woke Obama neo-Marxists. You can no longer say illegal alien or criminal alien, which is, of course, why we say it all the time. They say undocumented, right, or newcomers. Biden's own DHS, by the way, has banned this term. Biden in State of the Union uses the term for illegal immigrants that his DHS warned against in 2021. Biden getting trolled here. But also it gets, of course, worse. It always gets worse. You see here in this moment, Kamala Harris realizing, oh my God, they got us. They got us. We're finished. Kamala Harris realizing that this is going to be the uh, moment that gets played again and again and again, that Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, effectively, well, she she done it. She done it. She pissed off both sides. She was able to get both sides united against Joe Biden. Here, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm talking about. Pelosi slams Joe Biden for referring to Lake and Riley Killer as an illegal. He should have said undocumented, says Nancy Pelosi, uh, screaming, screeching, and crying into the cameras of CNN. Yeah, you should have said undocumented, but I, that's not a big thing, okay? What, what's the big thing yeah, about no, 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 I was, I, I actually wasn't even going to ask about that. I was just going to ask more about the moment, but you do think that he should have said undocumented? That wasn't going to be my question. Well, we usually say undocumented. Uh-huh. He said a- Oh, okay. It's very important to make sure that we defend the murderer here. Make sure we defend the criminal alien that we led into the country to murder. Let me be clear. No human being is illegal. This is an amazing thing. So now Democrats, and then there are like dozens of these, are jumping on board uh, defending the murderer. Defending like the, the, the naughty word that Joe Biden used that, of course, this is how Marxists do this kind of stuff. Told, everyone was calling them illegal aliens like five years ago. Nobody cared. And then they go in, they decide that term is offensive, and then they change it for everyone. And they go to their allies in the press, their completely controlled operations and activists inside of the press, and they say, we're never going to write that word again. We're going to change the American lexicon. So now Democrats are all pissed at Joe Biden. Marjorie Taylor Greene, CNN wants Nancy, it's wanted Nancy Pelosi to take on when I forced Joe Biden to say her name. Nancy didn't acknowledge Lake and Riley. Instead, Nancy Pelosi was more concerned that Biden referred to her murder as an illegal and not undocumented, disgraceful. Marjorie Taylor Greene having a real one here, man. Joe Biden's policies killed Lake and Riley. He finally tried to say her name, couldn't even say it correctly, an absolute disgrace. Good for Marjorie Taylor Greene. This is obviously what... Well, standing up to power looks like. This is what changing the paradigm looks like. This is what activism looks like. And this is what speaking truth to power actually looks like. These are all the things that the left says that they are for. And let's not even begin to cover that there is a young woman who was murdered. And I thought that the left were in favor of young women and safety for them. I certainly am. Are they? They certainly seem utterly unconcerned about Lake and Riley, and the reason why is because it doesn't help them politically. It's really easy to see who the frauds are and who is utterly intellectually uh, disreputable, dishonest, and disgusting when you see the mask slip and what they actually believe. Joe Biden actually believes, and he said so, that illegals are killing thousands of Americans. He just doesn't have the will, or he doesn't have the power to stop them. Either way, totally immoral, totally disgusting, and totally beneath the office of the president.
He should care about the lives of Americans. Uh, it's a despicable display last night. Marjorie Taylor Greene calling out Joe Biden, speaking truth to power, the best moment of the night uh, by far. Well done. This is what it actually looks like to change and to expose these monsters that run this place. Bravo, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Uh, it's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay base, just like Marjorie.